Son of the go, first event for the men's heptathlon, and it's a battle in the middle. Simon Am Ihama trying to get himself ahead of Etel. Oh, that was fraught there. They were all driving for the line, working super hard. When we see the sprint specialists, we're going to see them next in the heats of the men's 60 metres. They look a little bit more relaxed than that. That looks a little bit desperate and strained. These men keen to pick up every point they can. Time on the clock, 6.8. Not committed to a winner yet. It will be the fastest heat. So that was a really good start from E. Hammer. Just eight hundredths away from his European best in a heptathlon. He's coming here looking very sharp indeed. Good performance as well though, a bit further down from Kevin Meyer, as you can see on the photo finish. 6.85. That equals his personal best. And well Etel. Very good sprinter. Sandwiched between the two favourites for this title, E. Hammer and Maya, and Will Etel coming home second in 6.81. So E. Hammer's time, well, that converts to 955 points, and an excellent start for the Swiss sprinter, come long jumper, come multi eventer. Look at this, there's no taking it easy on each other in the first event. They all got lightning quick starts, and they fought all the way to the line. Simon E. Hammer. Great show of speed there, equaling his season's best. The slowest away was Kevin Mayer. He did get left very slightly in the blocks, picked it up very quickly. He did have a lot of work to do over the second half of the race, but he really got into his running once he got going and got upright. At this stage, he's still probably about fourth or fifth in the race, coming through and making up a couple of places. But as we were saying, it's all about the time that you post, not necessarily where you finish. The Frenchman might need to get on terms with Kevin Mike with uh, Sander Scottheim. And Meyer looks delighted with that. The season's best, not that far off his personal best. Lovely run under pressure, and you can see what that's done to the overall standings. Seven point lead for Kevin Meyer. Sander Scottheim. Etel keeps himself in third position at the moment. You that might have. Uh, Hasselberg. I thought Hasselberg might have an opportunity. Maybe their times haven't come into the system there. It's just the few, the first few that have had their confirmed time so far. And not the best of starts from Meyer, but his pickup was absolutely terrific and very, very good hurdling indeed. And that compares very favourably with the championship best in the heptathlon of 767 by Artur Abele back in 2015. 
just a tenth away side on shot there of course this is the better group of hurdlers Renia and Naya really dominating that race I think Hans Christensen Halsenberg is struggling he's got a heavily strapped, strapped ankle he didn't look comfortable over those hurdles or at the end but Kevin Meyer did absolutely full of beans this morning here in Istanbul was on perhaps for a European record in the opening three events his high jump didn't go perfectly you can see Hausenberg clattering that hurdle that's not going to help his legs at all Renya driving all the way to the line and every tenth run fast every hundred is more points well Hausenberg is currently in third place in the bronze medal position so he really is going through the pain barrier here Gletti and Hausenberg jogging off the line here. Hausenberg completes this 1,000 metres and des deserves a medal for bravery. He was in so much pain in that pole, pole vault. Etel knows what he's got to do. Scottheim surely is going to break his own national record. He set that earlier this season. Worked out he needs to run about 2.44 to equal that national record. His personal best is 2.37. Like I say, he's got to be 10 seconds ahead of Kevin Meyer. And he's looking up at the big screen, maybe giving it a go. And well, Eitel giving up the chase almost straight away. Eitel's not a phenomenal 1,000 metre runner. And he's got 2.48 to his name. He's a 1,500 metre time from outdoors. He's a tiny bit better. You can see Lillemetz and Urenia stalking Eitel's. This is now having to settle into fourth place. Sander Skopheim coming through the 400 metre mark here. That's very, very swift for the Norwegian. If, if, if he can maintain that pace, he genuinely could beat Kevin Meyer by 10 seconds. And said Skopheim is a young and improving athlete, but surely he's not about to run a 2.30, 2.32 kilometre. That would be obscene, but he's going for it. As is Jorge Urenia, he's in second place at the moment. So Risto Lillemet has to beat Manuel Eitel by two seconds. Just a gap opening up behind between those two athletes. You can see the predicted points here. Sander Skotheim just dancing around with Kevin Meyer. Just over 10 seconds he's got to beat Kevin Meyer by. And he's got another 350 metres to go. He's starting to tie up Sander Skotheim really starting to feel the pain here. Risto Lillimet separating himself from the rest of the field. Lillimet needs two seconds ahead of the German athlete who's slipping back through the group. Manuel Eitel running out of legs as is Jorge Urenia. Sander Scottheim at the bell. He's come through in 2.07 for 800 metres. Where is Kevin Meyer? He's on 2.12. The gap is only five seconds. It needs to be 10 for the gold medal. But Sander Scottheim surely on for a huge national record. A massive personal best. Can he hold it together in these closing stages? Sander Scottheim has found a second wind here. We saw Adriana Sulek do something similar in the women's race. Absolutely emptying the tank in her 800. Sander Skopheim doing the same here. He's driving for the line, giving it absolutely everything. 2.44 was what he needed for a national record. He's obliterated his own Norwegian heptathlon record. Kevin Meyer punches the air when he comes across the line. He knows he's done enough to take yet another title. Three European indoor golds to the Frenchman. Sander Skopheim will have to be content with a very, very good score. score. And Risto Lillimetz fourth at the European at the World Indoor Championships. I think, apologies, I think that was Hausenberg that did that, getting my Estonians muddled up. But Lillimetz, very good high jump last night, very good pole vault this morning. He's pushed himself up into the silver medal position. I don't think that graphic's right. I think Kevin Meyer's time hasn't been registered yet. Lillimetz and his hands together. I think he's seen something on the screen but he won't believe it. So let's confirm that looks a bit more like it yes 
Sonder Skotime gave it everything, but in the end, it just came down to Kevin Meyer just having just a little bit too much in the tank. These days, he doesn't run 237s in indoor 1,000 meters, but he had enough to do very, very well indeed. 6,348 points unofficially. We make it that he beats Sonder Skotime by 30 points to take the second consecutive European indoor title. And the Norwegian in the silver medal adding 63 points to his own Norwegian record. And congratulations for Risto Lillemax in third place, taking his first major championship medal. Skotime. Absolutely sizzling performance from Sko Time. 237.82 for Sko Time equals to 100th his personal best. And to do that at the end of two days of hectic competition is absolutely marvellous. Kevin Mayer was just over six seconds back. And Mayer knew that he only needed to be within 10 seconds of Sko time to be able to take the gold and that was just enough to see him through exhaustion on the faces of all the 10 athletes who are there of course very brave runs indeed from Mackensen, Gletti and Hans Christiansen, Hausenberg bringing up the rear those two Gletti no, no hiding in the pole vault meant that he was never going to be in medal contention Hausenberg running injured, but they didn't want to have a DNF against their names in the final results. There's the silver medalist and Norwegian record holder Sonderskog time. Delighted with his first major senior medal, of course. He's got medals in the underage group ranks. Risto Lillimatz. Good performances all the way down the line. Manuel Eitel. had a terrific two days of competition and finished in sixth place with a personal best as well 